Hello everybody and welcome to a special episode of Bungle Collects. So I've got a £250 worth of 50 pences in a sealed post office bag and no Lady M. But I do have someone special who's joining me for this coin hunt. So yes, as you can see, I'm joined by Bungle Collects Coins. Hello. And he's, he's counting his bags. Let's do the same actually while we're, while he's doing his. So, a very special hunt today. Give these bags a quick count as I always do. One, two, three. Twenty-three, twenty-four, and this will be twenty-five, and that's my first bag. So, Bungle, can you um, just explain those rules again to, uh, to me and to the viewers? Right, absolutely. So, Trev, so I've got a two hundred fifty-pound bag. I'll split them off. So, I've got my first five bags. So, will you you, you select your first five bags? Okay, one, right. two. We'll have one from the right, one from the left, and one from the middle. There we right. go, my first five bags. So we'll open them together okay. and then let's keep it nice let's keep it nice and simple. Whoever gets the, the most commemoratives out of these five bags wins that round. Fair enough. And then we'll play we'll play four more rounds after this and we'll see who wins. Best out of five. Best out of five. Fantastic. Yeah. Anything for grotty coins that you can clean up maybe? Any oh, special I think should, points? I think we should just make the rules up as we go along. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Why not? Um, we just one bag at a time, or yeah, why not? One bag at a time. Fantastic. We'll do five, and then we'll see who's who's got the most points at the end of the first right. five bags. Putting the grotty one on top, and that is pretty grotty. Poor old, poor old Britannia. Oh dear, Queenie, don't look too good. Right, Trend so so you going for him now? Yeah, I'm away, mate. I'm right. doing all right here. Like, okay. I'm, I'm already in for a Battle of Britain, and I tell you okay. what, it's in good nick as well. I've got a Victoria Cross medals. I wonder whether I get any... Do I get any more points with it being in such great condition? Because that, that is stunning condition, that. I knew you'd make up the rules and then try and change the rules straight away. <laughs> Are we, uh, we... We won't bother looking for the key data. We'll keep no, it simple. not on this one. So, purely, purely and simply... Uh, if you get any commemoratives in your first bag. Right. Okay, so I've done one bag. Am I doing the second, third, fourth yeah. bag in a row? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, just crack on Okay, eh? just crack on. And there I have a uh, dictionaries, the coin I love to hate. So are you commenting on your coins or? Yeah, I just haven't found any decent to comment oh. on yet. Oh, okay. And I keep automatically flipping over the shields. Should I just flick past the shields in the battalions? I'll just flick past them, eh? Yeah. So I won't need to turn them over if, if I know they're not a commemorative. Yeah, right, yeah. woohoo! I'm in, Trev, I'm in my second one. I've got Victoria, Victoria Cross, Heroic Acts. Ah, oh, right. That's, that's two for two. Well, I've got the medals, so uh, a little mini, mini set, set between the two of us. <laughs> Come oh! On. Yeah, 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 what? yeah. Whoop, 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 whoop. Now, now, now I, I know you don't like spoilers at Bungle. <laughs> <laughs> I've just found an absolute beauty. I, I can, I can tell Trev because obviously the viewers can't see see us, but we can see each other. And and the look on your face and that little dance you just did was absolutely amazing. So he's now sticking his tongue out at me. What is it? What is it? Oh, get in there! That is a fantastic Will find. Chair rugby. Woohoo! Now I probably do need that for my book. I'm just gonna have a quick look. And these are gonna go in my book. There's no uh, messing about with. Oh no! I, I need it for the book. So beauty. You know what? So do I. <laughs> <laughs> but you won't believe, Trev. Trev, you won't believe I found an Olympic as well. Oh wow! Yeah, I have. Yeah, do you want to see it? Yes, please. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Team GB. 
UGB. I'm classing that as an Olympic. Mate, I always think, I always give it a quick glimpse and think, wow, that's an Olympic. Oh, no, it's not quite the right, the right Olympic. Well, it's quite ironic because I just watched your last video and you said just them words in your last in your last 50p on. <laughs> There we go, yeah. the uh, most common of the 2019 Paddingtons, that's Paddington at the Tower. Totally agree. Totally I'm agree. Just, I'm just in for a Tom Kitten there. Oh, spooky eyes. Well, I bet I have to make sure I haven't opened the wrong amount of bags here. Hang on. Where's Lady M when I need her? She'd be good at organising this. Yeah. She's definitely the organiser of the gang, eh? Right, yeah, no, I must have bought them three bags, two bags left to go. Oh. What's that? Uh, Commonwealth Games, is that 2014? The uh, Glasgow. Yeah, the one with the X's on it. Yeah. I, I never remember that date. Yeah, I've just found her uh, Paddington at the yeah. we, won't, we won't say. Oh, yeah. I won't say where he is. No. Is it somewhere that we've been? We have been, yeah. We have been there. Been there, done that, filmed outside it. In fact, I think we did we bump into where uh, Paddington's cousin John. Oh, while we were there. Yeah. <laughs> oh look, I've just found one of your Team GBs. There oh, we go. Nice. Well, I've just found a Sher I've just found a Sherlock. Mr. Shadow. Um, no, what do I call him? Mr. Silhouette. That's it. Right. So that is my five bags done. Well, I'm nearly done. I've just got a Brexit there. In fact, two Brexits. And I think I'm done. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many have you got? Well, you won't believe this. I've got eight as well. Oh, never. Well, what we'll have to do then, I've we'll got... have to have a decider for that round. And the plum find has got to be the Olympic, hasn't it? It's so you you can take it on the on the plum find. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Little so down. That's what, right, so, so that's round, one. Round one to Trev. Fantastic. So are we, keep, are we keeping the coins there or should we I'm gonna, should we I'm gonna them slide off? them off to one side so yeah, I'm nice and idea. clean. One, yeah. two, three, four and five. Right. Crack straight into the next five then. Right, eh? next round. We need to figure out a way of getting some, I oh know, some, oh. Oh. go on. Oh, oh, oh. I've just, uh, I've just, had, I've just got a sneaky little peek of it as I was sacking it in my hand. And right. I really have got, an, I really have got an Olympic this time. Okay. So we'll get the, we'll get the Paddington at the tower out of the way because there's that many of him. Oh yeah. So, so he's Boom. out of the way. I've got to blast through this bag. Hmm. Oh, oh, there's a cathedral just to, uh, do you know? Do you know what we should do just to add some insult to injury to Christopher? Is start calling him uh, Benjamin Bunny at the tower. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> good idea. And I've got a, ch a Tom kitten, and I say I'm not done yet in this bag. Okay. People will be able to see it now as I. Uh, oh, and a Sherlock. Oh, this has been a great bag. I tell you what, I'm going to pull this. Uh, I'm going to pull this back, Trev. Yeah. This round's mine. I can tell already, and I've got well. Olympic fencing. Ah, oh, I need fencing. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we do. I'll have to check. I didn't get my book out. Yeah, I definitely need fencing. Well, my my first bag was a bust. My sec second bag, I'm doing much better with. I found a couple of uh, commemoratives. So I just found Brexit, and I found another Team GB. Oh, I've got another Battle of Britain. This nice is. One. Uh, not in very good condition compared to that first one, mine. This is quite grotty, uh, as you would say. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Go on. Tell you oh. what, I am channeling the Bungle luck today. I tell you, this is amazing. This, every hunt should be like this now, Bungle. <laughs> Go on then, what is it? Don't keep me in suspense. It is Olympic gymnastics. Oh, wow, wait. And I def yes, I need that for my book. That's two Olympics for my book. That is amazing. pretty cool. That is amazing. That's my third bag. Well done. I oh. think it's probably worth uh, mentioning as well, is it? We've got a post office versus bank here, haven't we? I've got post oh, office yeah. bags, and yeah. you've, got, you've got bank bags. Yep. 
There's a rare bench. Got a Benjamin Britton there as well. Yep, I've gone to my favourite bank to get my sealed bags with the little pre tears in them to make it nice and easy for you. Yeah, I found that, you know, in, in our bank, because we've not long had a business account. Uh, and, and even though you and I are in the, both in the same bank, although obviously different branches, so they come from different cash centres, and yeah. ours don't, don't have the pre-tears oh. in. They're an absolute pain. What did you say when you was doing your <laughs> £2,000 uh, 50p hunt? You, um, Or it might be in the £2 hunt. You said about, you commented on the bags with the pre-tears. Yeah. You said, I oh, know. Well, basically, the hours comes from. Uh, so I just paused there. I've just had a, a Tom Kitten and there's a Commonwealth Games. Uh, yeah, well, basically, hours are rock hard northern bags. That's that's what it is. We don't need pre tears in hours because we're no. rock hard up here in the northeast. No. We can just, you know, proper power through them. Well, I I quite like on this occasion being a southern softy. So uh, <laughs> my uh, pre tears, I wouldn't I wouldn't trade them for anything. No, to be honest, the our Mine and Lady M's hands were absolutely killing us after the, <laughs> after that hunt and having to like pee us the bag. Right. It was difficult. Oh, we've got N uh, NHS here, Trev. Yeah. Oh, nice. That is a nice coin. It's a sweet one. I like the bit of NHS. Got Paddington at the favorites. palace there. Oh, that was my last bag. Yeah. That was, that was last couple of coins. Five. Dumb. So. Right. I'm in for 10 this time, Trev. Oh, no, you've beaten me because I've only got six this time. Get in. There we go. Just so. the six, but a very sweet Olympic gymnastics. I am yeah. chuffed with that. That is I, pretty I'll, cool. So show my fence at the same time. Should we put them up together? Got him. There we go. wonder what's going to be the best condition out of the two. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. Who knows? That's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. mine is pretty good too, I think. So I'm certainly pleased with that plum find out in round two, and of course, to draw it level one all. Right, are we straight into round three? Yeah, one, two, three, four, and one from the left. There we go, five bags. This is going faster than I thought as well. I thought it might take ages to get through, but. Oh, I thought I was going to get a bus there, but uh, unfortunately I've got that uh, Benjamin at the Cathedral coin. Uh. Oh, uh, representation of the People's Act. This is quite a nice shiny one. I know it hasn't exactly been in circulation very long, but <laughs> it's still quite shiny. Oh, I've got Mr. Roger Bannister doing his little sprint. Well, I've just got a Benjamin bunny. Uh. And I'm pleased to see him because obviously they all they all carry points, don't they? Yeah. Well, you, yeah, you just want to find as many commemoratives as possible, regardless of uh, mintage, I guess, don't we? Absolutely. Oh. oh, here's two back to back. We got a Tom Kitten, old spooky eyes, and I've got a Battle of Britain. And on the back is JC. Just the JC. So we get that. There we go. You... Right, I just got a, a bus there, Trev. Bus bag. Ooh. I haven't had a bus bag this round yet. Oh, got a nice one called a P. I tell you what, I don't find this one very often. Yeah. Paddington at the station. <laughs> no. It's in nice condition as well. I like Paddington at the station, it's my favourite. I was Palace, then I went Station, and now I'm back to Palace again. Yeah? I can't quite make my mind up on that one. I think the Station, it's a better design, it's a better picture. I think the Palace, Tower and Cathedral, he's just plonked in front of, it's just as a background image. They're just, they're, I've got a, um, one of those very common uh, Benjamin bunnies at the Tower in front of me. And he's just, obviously Paddington's in the foreground and the you know, the tower or the palace is just in the background. I think they're quite boring, but with the station, at least he's sort of in the picture, if you know what I mean. Yeah, he's yeah sort I of, get that. You know, I just think it's a nicer... Um, I, I mean, I love my art and design. I love... Um, I'm trying to think of uh, coins that 
Well, I'm trying to put together a video about art, about art in coins. All right. So, like, where the coin designers have got their inspiration from. So you've yep. got your classical um, uh, painters and sculptors and things like that. And obviously, the designers of the coins have taken inspiration from somewhere. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm trying to sort of piece together, but I'm sort of trying to find uh, what artwork goes with uh, what coin. But, yes, yeah, it's That's a good idea. It's difficult. Suit you. Twofold, you mean that uh, that photographer side of you, that, yes. uh, that artistic side of you, yeah. it's lovely. It's like, and, I, go on. No, go on. Well, I was going to say, I know you don't like the, the new Rosalind Franklin coin, but from a design point of view, I really like it. I think it's a great coin because of its, um, just the way it's laid out and the, the sort of lot of negative space around the, the wording, but I can see um, yeah. that not everyone's going to like it. Oh. I think I'd. I think I just have a more straightforward view of things, whereas, yeah, you'll have yeah. that more artistic eye. And I do appreciate every coin's a little bit of miniature art in your pocket, isn't it? I do. I do appreciate that. Oh, there we go. That's a Brexit coin. Pepperonis or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. I'm putting my plum find on the top of my stack. I'm all done, by the way. I've, I was oh. finished ages ago. Oh, sorry, dude. I'm, I'm all done now. Um, and I've got seven. Yeah, I've only got five. Ooh. That's why. That's why I was finished so um, so, so quickly. quickly. <laughs> yeah, and and my plum my plum find is going to be the Paddington at the station. Everything else is really slim pickings. Yeah, I don't really have a plum find from this lot, really. No, just the win. No, that's all you've got. Win. That's all I'll you need. Just, I'll just take the win. <laughs> <laughs> right, two one. One, two, three, in around four. three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five left there. I'll oh, tell, tell you one thing I've been meaning to ask you. Yes. The, um, where do you stand with signing Benjamin Bunnies? Because I noticed you haven't done that. I I have done some, me and... Um, oh, Kate. hang on. Hold the front page. Hold the front page. Oh. Let's just forget. Let's just put Benjamin Bunny to one side, my friend, for the minute. I've already pulled out a Newton. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. It is. Oh, this is, this is an awesome coin. Oh, it's in nice condition as well. It really is in nice condition, Trev. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you'll be, you'll be, How? When, when you watch this on playback, you'll be pleased with that. Nice one. How many Newtons do you think you've found in coin hunts? Not many. I've got about 25, I think. Maybe 30. But you've I bought you've most got of them. 25, 30 Newtons. Yeah, but I, but I bought most of them. Right. There we go. There's um, Paddington at the Cathedral. Boom. Um, but yeah, I bought most because when do you, when do you remember when I had that uh, mega Olympic hunt? Yeah. When I found over a hundred Olympics yeah, in one Yeah, I've seen it. So I didn't realise what a stash I'd found there. I hadn't been coin hunting very long, hadn't had the channel very long, and I didn't realise what an absolute jackpot I'd hit. I knew it was good, but I didn't know how good it was. So I did a load of swaps for, uh, for the likes of the Newton and maybe suffragettes and things like that. So I ended up with more Newtons than, than you would imagine. And then I got, it's my favourite coin. So I ended up buying quite a few as well. Okay. They were like £3, £54 each. So out of them 25 or 30, I've maybe found eight. Maybe it's 10 maximum, I think, over the 18 months. So yeah, the rest, the rest I've I've, bought. I've never found a Newton in a coin hunt. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I've seen but that. I, ha I am right now doing very well with the olympics because <laughs> yes. i've just found two more two more two more oh back word. to back Let's... in the same bag Amazing. sailing and hockey nice coins as well they're not uh, and they're quite scarce them i've got both of them already in my book but wow yeah. wow we i got, got dictionaries jeez that this, I mean, I'm glad that I have the sealed bags because I can actually just sort of, if anyone ever said, oh, you know, you're cheating, you can just sort of rewind it and say, well, look, that's the, the bag opening from the beginning. Um, yeah. Oh, oh no, wow. That's, that's nice one. Well, I've got a Bay Luke of Jersey. Lovely. 2012. That is a rare year as well, I think. Someone said oh, about I, 2012. I don't know. Or is that more, more um, high mintage year? Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure. I remember someone saying something about 2012s. Did you say Jersey or Guernsey? Um, Jersey. Jersey. Yeah, no, I'm not sure. 
I don't I, think the, I think the 2012 Guernsey is, is isn't particularly high mintage. Oh, okay. Um, it's one of the freezes on. I think is it the 2012? Yeah. But I'm um, not. I'm guessing a bit. I'm not sure about the. Uh, not sure about jerseys. There's um, got another. That's about second Paddington at the station of this round. Right. So I couldn't hardly find any. There's been every, there's been three all together in this hunt. Yeah. On, on well, this is. What's that now? Is that four? Four Olympics, I think I found. So that's pretty go good. Oh, pretty good going for me. It certainly is. Right. So where do you stand with the Benjamin Bunny's head? Sorry, I cut you off. Um, my, my yeah, uh, when um, Katie Jones did a takeover video for me, uh, at the end of it, she she suggested signing them, and we did. Um, I, 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 I'm up for it. I think it's... Um, coins go through worse things in life than getting signed, so uh, why not? Um... Yeah, no problem. I, I would do it more if I just remembered to do it. Sometimes I get nice. so uh, lost in the actual coin hunt that I uh, sometimes forget to do these little things. Oh, Fair enough. another one of those Paddingtons at the tower. But you're going to do it though, because I think it's quite cool, isn't it? We, we, yeah. Everyone's out got I, a chance to find I would like a way signed. of... I, I'd like to have some stickers that I could stick on them and say, coins to collect YouTube, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, I've had an idea about that. I, cool. I want to do it with the, with the two pound coins. You know, your disco, your disco Trev yeah. coin? That you two pound coin. Dirty disco. Um, dirty disco, that's it. So I want to find the, I want to find a coin. I'll just, I'll show everyone for the benefit of uh, who, who can see my, my camera. So I want to find uh, a sticker, a really good sticker that will fit in the silver part of the coin, stick really nice on there. Yeah. Uh, I would only do it with technology, like I wouldn't do it with this uh, this Commonwealth Games that happened to be pointing at. Uh, um, and just something like Bungle on it or Bungle YouTube, something yes. like that. Yeah. And then because I think what is a bit of advertising, so people might find it in the change and say, "Oh, what's this Bungle about on YouTube?" And also I just think about the, it's something extra to look for in the two pound coin. So if anybody knows any really good places where I can buy stickers, so good stickers that will stick on and and not break up and the, the logo stay on everything, do let me know in the comments. Yeah. Right, are you all done, are you? I am done with that one. I'm just going to show my dirty disco coin, Astoria, as an example of what we're talking about. But yes, if we can find some someone who makes stickers or whatever, um, yeah, 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 get in contact, let us know, because that is a brilliant does idea. Does it just cover, does, that, does the dirty disco just cover the silver bit? Yeah, they've, I mean, they've stuck it a bit off centre because they're not too worried about it, but it would actually completely cover just the centre, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Spot on. So, so a good, that is a good sticker with our logos on. That's it. That's the best example there, guys. If anybody knows how to make some stickers, or um, you know, someone's dad owns a sticker company, <laughs> mm. give us a shout, and we'll uh, we'll have. Uh, I'm sure there's a few coin tubers that will all go into that and uh, bulk buy or something, maybe. But yeah, quite possibly. Cool. Right. right. What do you I've get? Had a good, I've had a I've had a good round. Go for it. 10. 14. Oh, you kept that quiet, didn't One, you? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh. 6, 2 rows of 6, 14, yes. And the win. And the win. It's, <laughs> Are you it's, making it's three? Three. Right. Hey, I'll keep, I'll keep the tally. Oh, good. Yeah, 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 I I'll just realised yeah, I'm yeah. not keeping the tally of where we're up to. Yeah, well, congratulations. You've won with a round to spare. So I'm playing I'm playing for pride now just right. to try and get a get a second in. Right. Put me, Probably, what was your plum find? Probably hard to pick, was it, with well, all them and two Olympics? Two Olympics, but I guess I always like seeing a, a territory. A territory is always nice. Where's the camera? There it is. Yeah. Mine is, mine's a Newton. Mine's a Newton. Yeah. Nice one. Right, last five right. bags. Round five, just for fun. Just for fun. Yeah, I guess if we did only 50 quid, it was uh, would be over too quick, wouldn't it, as well? So yeah. maybe sort of a... It would have to be best of three or best of five, but... I've got a pepperoni there. Right, Can I, I just need to just reset my camera, so I'm just going to do it really quick. And I'm back on. 
got an iron side. I don't find iron sides that often either. No? I think Christian has got them all. He's yeah. Them. He's got a monopoly on them. So my first bag was a bust. Oh, good. Well, I got two in my first bag. Oh. An iron side and a uh, uh, Brexit. Back to Britain? I don't think I've... Go on. There's been a few of them, hasn't there? Back the Britons. Uh, yeah, well. I don't find what many back the Britons. Oh. Do you think there is a north-south divide with coins, or is it just? Yeah. You really? I, or is it I'm just is. just random luck, isn't it? Really? But you think? Well, I think when they release coins, uh, they might be that. I, I don't understand why that would be. Well, they're definitely on a Royal Mint tour. The, uh, the the lady who did the tour confirmed that the the coins are sent out regionally uh, wow. on demand. So if if the, if the okay. cash center, so the cash center is in in Haydock, which is the one that comes that my, my bank uses, which is Liverpool way. So say that needs the coins, then a batch will all go to Haydock. So okay. like whatever the batch is, that will get the whole batch. So there's that, and then also the on, on a tour they've had confirmed that they will put so many. Of the commemorative coins in the area where they're supposed to be. So, uh, uh, for example, the Kew Gardens, some were sent to the Kew Gardens region, wow, so they yeah. had a chance of finding them. Yeah. So I think both of them things make, makes it makes it absolutely makes it regional, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I knew I, the I, sort of distribution side of it might be regional, but it's when the coins have been in circulation for a little while and there still seem to be, you know, this sort of... You know, you're going to find it more in Scotland than you are in um, than Wales, yeah. sort of thing. I think there'll be an element of things getting mixed up, but but generally people um, are spending their own region, don't they? Oh, you yes. get your wages, you draw your money out of yeah. the bank, you spend it in your local paper shop or whatever it may be. So I think a lot of it stays regional. And yes, it's going to mix. People will go to different places, different that the the, um, the post office, for example. I get a lot of bags all manner from the Birmingham. Uh, post office cash yeah. center and Lafter, Lafter gets them from there as well and Lafter's obviously really close to London 200 odd miles away from me so you know there's there's arguments for and against but generally speaking I think that uh, yeah that there's a lot to the regional debate ah. you, you might be able to prove it but again please don't confirm or deny this at this point but huh. your, at the time of filming your two pound hunt is going to upload tomorrow from the bag you swap with me yes so you if, you, if that's full of comedies for example do not i'm not looking don't tell me then <laughs> that would indicate that um it's a regional thing because i'm sick of sick of getting comedies um wow. although latterly they've all changed the histories i haven't had comedies for a while now but stacks and stacks of histories yeah even start even start getting some of the schools some of the tragedies as well so. well um tragedies sorry histories yes i find a lot of um yeah that's my most common one of those i think he's the most common shakespeare anyway though isn't it but i can't remember the one one yeah what is one five one's about five and a half million and the other two were about four and a half i can't remember which yeah. way around it is so right, i'm all done i'm done i've got a pathetic five well i want to say four but nine Oh, I've been absolutely trounced. 4-1. 4-1, really? Yeah, 4-1. Oh, jeez. So, so my, uh, in total, I got 38. I'm just doing a bit of a tot-up. Oh, okay. just do a tot-up. Tot my maths is very good, so bear, bear with me while I try and add this up. And I think you've got 44, if my maths is correct. I think you're 40, 44, yes. Yeah. So you, you won all ends up. You got the better fines, more Olympics, more points, and more rounds. Oh, and I've lied to you. Sorry, I didn't get five. I only got four because I uh, I found I accidentally found the 2017 shield and I kept it to one side in case we needed a tiebreaker. But oh. of course, I shouldn't have done that. So hang on, let me just change the records, official records, four thirty-seven in in total. Well, well done, my friend. Well done. No, no, thank you. I, I love so, the fact you keep all you keep official records. Oh, it's got to be. Oh yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, I, I do, uh, I do, I do like to know. I do like stats. Yeah. Uh, and I do like to know what's what. It's interesting. So, oh, I've got it. I must admit, I'm, I'm pleased for you, but I'm got it. Well, it's just a bit of fun, isn't it, Bungo? It's the, the way I look at it, it's just a bit of fun. Not really. I got. No, not really. Olympics for my book, which is um, pretty cool. 
so I'm gonna, while we're still chatting away, I'm gonna put them in my book. So in goes Olympic judo, um, not judo, gymnastics. Oh, I do really hate it when I say things wrong. And we got hockey, got sailing, and wheelchair rugby to go in the book. Yeah, I've checked mine as well, Trav. I definitely do. I do have fencing already, so nothing, nothing for my book. Oh. The uh, kudos to you as well, Trev. It's a great idea, this, I think. I'd be really yeah. interested to see how this is going to look on screen with people being able to see us both yep. putting through our own coins together. It's going to be really cool. So, I think that'd be cool. Uh, really great idea. Cool, mate. Uh, anything else you want to say? Or are we done? Yeah, I think we're done. So I just want to say, so anybody watching this on my channel that doesn't... Um, that doesn't subscribe or know who Trev is, do go over and subscribe to Trev. So he'll either be on this side of the screen or that side of the screen. I'm not sure, but yeah, <laughs> make sure you do go over it and, uh, and subscribe and watch some of Trev's videos, Coins to Collect, great channel. And you... uh, thanks very much for having me, Trev, anyway. No, really fantastic. Appreciate it. No, that's cool, mate. Thank you very much. Uh, you're a gentleman. Um, and, and likewise, please go and check out Bungle Collects Coins. Um, fantastic videos. He has the best... Uh, glamorous assistant in the business and um, yeah just fun fantastic videos uh, always uh, fun and interesting so please go and check out Bungle Collects Coins I think we've probably got a similar audience anyway um, yeah but, I, I, uh, yo, that, well, that'll there be must cool. be <laughs> oh, what's that ringtone so really sorry about that, Trev. The uh, I just took I forgot to put my phone on aeroplane mode, so I've just took a phone call and the and the cording cut recording cut out. So Trev's gonna have to splice this back into the video. So sorry about that extra work you're gonna have to do there, Trev. Um, but I was just saying I had an idea. So Trevor just said to me um, that we think we've got a similar audience, so the same people who watch at my channel watch your channel, vice versa. So put that in the comments below. So so please do if you subscribe to both of us, you watch both of our videos, stick down in the comments. How about that? Yep, fantastic idea. Yeah. Brilliant. And I think we're and I think we're going to have to um, congratulate Trevor in the comments as well for it. As it I was spanked, an absolute spanking, <laughs> spanking uh, victory there by Trevor. Oh, and I, te and I tell you what's going to be interesting. If we're going to upload these videos be uh, at the same time, yeah, I, I assume the same video is going to go out on both our channels at the same time. I think I thought that might be the fairest way to do it because yeah, yeah, right. So if, so if anybody has then watched us, put in the comments who, who did you watch it on first. You know, or maybe watch it on one and go over the other and put a comment on. How's yeah. that? <laughs> I mean, well, well, the only other way we could do is split it into two and then just sort of uh, part one and part two. But I just thought nah, we'll, we'll just I, 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 put it up at the same time and then, definitely. you know, it's just... No, I think that's yeah. a great idea, yes. Yeah. Simultaneous upload, we'll go together and then we, we'll see where we are. So anyway. Brilliant. Right, Chad, do my outro then. I think it's right that you, you do your outro last as the, as the Go victor. for it. Go yeah, for it, mate. Okay. All right then, so big thanks to Trev. Great idea. Thanks for inviting me to, to do it. Hopefully we can do it again and maybe you know, and hopefully you'll be able to do it with some other coin tubers as well. So I just want to say everybody, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks, Bungle. <laughs> Thank you, Bungle. Uh, you've been an amazing uh, competitor and uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed this video. Uh, please remember to go and like and subscribe to my channel and then hop over to Bungle's channel and subscribe to him too. Obviously hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another episode. But until the next collaboration video, please keep looking out for those coins to collect. What do you mean? Well, right, okay, so yes, my very special guest today is Bungle Collects Coins. Hey, do I say hello? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Trev. Hello, Bungle. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. And do I say my very special guest is Trev? Oh, you're frozen. <sighs> oh, Trev, you've got to can't hear you anymore. This is going to be a... Trev, come back. Trev, come back to me. Yeah, there you go. Oh, hang on. Are you there there you go. I've turned off my, my Wi-Fi. Is, is absolutely rubbish in oh, this right. heat.